Hey y'all, I'm Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me just sharing my experience about how the Nike Run Club app has really helped me become a distance runner and get into long distance running. I went from running basically zero miles, struggling to do cardio, to running between three to six miles. Um, last month in September, I ran a total of 30 miles, which is crazy. And so I'm going to just be sharing how the app has helped me, how I got from walking to running six miles, and at the end of the video I'm going to take you guys with me to a running store to get a pair of running shoes and then right here I'm going to show you guys these shoes I got so if you have been struggling to get into running um, this video might be for you let me just say this video is not sponsored in any way I wish I was sponsored by Nike but this app is just something that truly has helped me get into distance running so let's just get straight into it and let me give you a bit of background info on me and my running journey Okay, so a quick summary of my running journey, I guess you could say. I have always been a runner. Um, I ran track in middle school, high school for a year in college. I did cross country in middle school. So basically when I ran track, I mostly did sprints and long distance. Anything over 800 meters, I did not run. So I was more of a sprinter. In middle school, seventh and eighth grade, I did cross country. I think the most we ever ran was maybe a mile and a half. And then also I did play soccer growing up in middle school and for one year in high school sometimes we, we would have to run a mile but typically I would never run anything over one to one and a half miles so distance running is something that was just really really outside of my comfort zone I was always more into sprinting and weightlifting just because of track and the type of distance that I ran so I want to say maybe three or four years ago I wanted to start running and so I downloaded the Nike Run Club app so this is a free app on the app store that basically just helps you track your runs you can set it to where it gives you cheers like whenever you hit a quarter mile half mile just stuff like that to track your running and so a couple years ago I got the app and started running um, I think I started off doing maybe one mile two miles it was pretty inconsistent um, the most I ever did I remember I ran three miles and that was just insane it was the most I have ever ran but I was super, super inconsistent. There would be times I would run for a couple times a month, and then I would go like six, seven months without running. And then I would try to come back. And so it was really up and down, and I could never really stick to it. It was something that was really, really hard for me to run because like I said, I was used to doing sprinting, playing soccer, just straight up long distance running for long periods of time is really hard for me. And so I can never be consistent. So recently, um, I got back on the Nike Run app. For the longest time, I would just use the Apple Watch workout system to just track my runs, but it just wasn't really helping. I could never stay motivated, never stay consistent, and I really wanted to get into distance running just to add some variables to my workout. I was going to the gym kind of on and off, doing weightlifting like the Stairmaster, but I wanted to get out and go run. And so when COVID first happened in March, I started walking. I think this part is really what led me into being able to get into distance running. So I started walking. I started off doing one mile, two miles. I worked my way up, my way up to about four miles. And so a couple days a week, I would just go walking, just put in some headphones, um, and maybe watch a YouTube video and just go to the park or go on a trail and walk. And so for a while, I would say maybe like four or five months, I was just walking. I didn't even run. I would just go and walk three to four miles. And the more I did it, the easier it got I would try to kind of walk a bit faster walk up hills and so for the first couple of months I did not run at all I was just walking so the end of August I got back on the Nike run app it had been like a year or so since I had done a run using the app and the thing that I started doing that really helped me is that I went to the guided runs so on the Nike run app you can just do a free run just push start and go run I had never explored the other parts of the app or maybe they were new since the last time I had used it. So the Nike Run app has dozens of guided runs where you can either pick a distance, maybe a time limit, um, and they will have a coach who guides you through the run. 
guys this is the key to me actually being consistent because once I started doing these guided runs they would kind of like talk you through how you should start off your pace your form your breathing and sometimes the coach would just ask you random questions to distract you from your race they would encourage you to keep going whenever you hit halfway or three quarters of the way and so those guided runs is really what helped me be consistent and so I did several different guided runs and I started off doing maybe like a mile two miles a 5k which is 3.1 and I kind of just slowly worked my way up and these guided runs were just so encouraging because it's really hard to just go run on your own and not quit but having a coach in my ear telling me like hey you got this keep going trying to talk me through my breathing my form like everything about these guided runs is really what's helped me be more consistent eventually I got to the point to where last week I did a six mile run without the guided run so I just did the regular run I just pushed start and started going and in my head, I could still hear the things the coach was telling me to control my breathing, relax my arms, start off easy. And like those guided runs honestly really did help coach me to be able to do a six mile run by myself. Six miles is the most I have ever ran in my life without stopping. Six miles without stopping. If you're a distance runner and you've been doing this might not seem like a lot. But to me, that was completely crazy that I could run six miles without stopping, without having any coach or or anybody helping me just free running on my own and honestly there are so many different types of guided runs so let me actually pull up my phone and just show you kind of what the app looks like and the different types of guided runs there are and again, I know this video sounds super sponsored, but I promise this is just me sharing my experience and this app has truly helped me get into distance running and I think now it's more enjoyable. It's more of a stress reliever, um, relaxing. It's not something that's like I dread going on runs. I actually enjoy going on runs now because I figured out how to do it, what my pace is, and kind of just how to attack different types of runs. Okay, so here are some of the different guided runs. So there's some that are like um, distance based. And so there are some that might be one mile, two miles, 10K. There are some that are just time based, like a 30 minute run, a 20 minute run. And there's just so many different options here. I think there's also an option to have meditation while you run. I usually just listen to music. And then whenever the coach is talking to me, it automatically lowers my Spotify so I can hear them talking. And so there's runs for travel treadmills, short runs, long runs, speed runs. There's just so many different options. Normally the one that I go to is to distance based runs. And you can see all the ones I've done. I've done the 5K, the 6K, two mile, four mile. There's a seven mile. So there's just a bunch of different ones. There's even a half marathon, a 20K, which don't know how many miles that is. So there's tons of different ones available and most of them are coached by the same person. Um, it's the head Nike coach, his name is Coach Bennett. There's a few that they bring on different guests and have different coaches, but most of the ones that I've been most successful on are the ones by Coach Bennett. And so you can also even set up a plan. Um, I haven't tried that feature yet, I might do that. And so there's just a bunch of different runs to choose from. You can also just do a free run. And so you can just put a distance that you want to hit and just put, click start and just run on your own. And yeah, there's also an option to have a personalized plan. So if you're new to running, if you're already a runner, there's just different options for what your goals are. So get started, get more fit, get ready for race day. So I think I am actually going to try Try one of these plans and let you guys know what it's like and how it walks me through because I do want to do a race I'm just not sure exactly what yet and also because of COVID lots of the races are virtual and I really want to do like a normal race with other people to kind of motivate me to push myself harder so this app is awesome. You can also add friends, compete with them, share your runs. Most of my friends aren't really into running, so I kind of just do it on my own, but you can add friends on the app. It's also cool just to see your progress. So like I said, I have been having this app for maybe four years, but have never been consistent. And so the total number of miles I ran is 355, which sounds like a lot, but I think sometimes in the beginning, I would mark walks on here, so they're not all runs. But like I said, for September, I really really just got into running I only did nine runs and ran 30 miles total and so it's kind of cool just to go through and see your progress you can see how you're getting faster how you're improving and just keep track of the runs you do per week per month per year 
So yeah, this is the Nike Run Club app. There's also articles, there's a whole bunch of features on this app that I usually don't look at, but there's different articles, there's challenges. So sometimes there might be like a Sunday 5K challenge or they're challenging you to run a certain number of miles in a month. You can compete with other people across the country on the app. And so if you need motivation, you need someone to push you to to challenge you, get this Nike Run Club app and truly see if it will help you get into running. You can also even, I think, tag your shoes if you run with Nike shoes. I personally don't use Nike and I'm about to show you the new shoes that I just got. So yeah, this app is super helpful. Definitely download it. If you don't think you can do it, I promise you, you can do it. Never in a million years did I ever think that I would be running four, five, six miles. My goal is to be able to do 10 miles in the next couple of months. So if you think you can't do it, you're lying to yourself. You just need something to push you and to motivate you. Okay, so moving on to my shoes. It's really important to have good shoes if you're going to get started running. I had been running in some cheap like $30 pair of Asics and just didn't want to invest. But now that I'm actually running consistently, maybe three, four times a week and doing more miles, I knew that I needed better running shoes in order to prevent injuries and to just be more successful on my runs. So I actually came across a TikTok video. I will try to find that and link it down below, but basically I discovered this running store in Dallas and Fort Worth called Fort Worth Running Co or I guess Dallas Running Co for the other one that they pretty much like not customize but they take your feet measurements they scan you they see how you run really cool so I'm going to insert vlog footage from me earlier today I went to the running store and then I'm going to show you guys these shoes that I got Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly talk about getting running shoes. So I actually discovered this place on TikTok. I will try to find that and give credit and link that. But basically I just went to the Fort Worth running store to get some running shoes. And so I did vlog a bit inside, but it was kind of awkward because there were a couple other people there and it's pretty small. Basically I walked in, they kind of asked me like what I was looking for, what distance I'm running or what I'm training for. I am kind of training for a 10K. I usually run with between one and six miles um, and also I told them that I have a foot problem I have plantar fasciitis and so they measured my feet and then after that I stood on a scanner to scan my feet so that they could see my arches how I stand where the pressure points are and after that they brought out some shoes I got onto the treadmill and ran for about 15 20 seconds at about five speed on the treadmill and while I was doing that he recorded me um, my feet running to see where I'm landing and hitting to determine what types of shoes or inserts I need so after that he brought out about four different options and also inserts so like I mentioned I do have plantar fasciitis and so I need more support on my feet I have actually always thought and have been told when I used to run track that I have no arches and have flat feet but the scan actually showed that the reason my plantar fasciitis is because I have really high arches and so that was something new and so after that he brought out a couple of different options of shoes I tried them on and then kind of walked around put the inserts in them and chose my shoes um, they were really good with finding shoes that match like my needs for my feet my pressure points arches all that stuff in distance the only thing was the entire time he never really said like the price of how much each pair of shoe was and I was kind of I didn't want to ask I was just going through trying them um going in I knew I was going to spend at least a hundred dollars I was trying to stay around the 100 120 range and so after I tried the four pairs on I picked out the ones that felt the best and the entire time I was just waiting like how much is this going to cost for the shoes and the inserts and I got to the register and I was just like waiting I had my credit card like oh my gosh how much is this gonna be it ended up being $200 actually let me check I didn't even look at the receipt Oops. so the shoes were $125 and the um 
orthotic inserts were 60 which isn't that bad so my total after taxes was $200 which was more than what I wanted to spend but I definitely do need to take care of my feet if I'm going to start running more and these shoes are going to last me for months I probably won't have to buy another pair of shoes for a while so it's definitely an investment but I'll show you guys some of the clips from inside and once I get home I'll show you what my shoes are and the exact name of those shoes here are my running shoes so like i mentioned um the cost of the shoes was 125 and the orthotic inserts i got were 60. these are not necessary like i mentioned in my vlog i have always i'm not always but i have struggled with feet problems and so i knew that i needed more support so my grand total after tax was 200. yes it's expensive but these are going to last me for a while and it's going to really help me prevent getting injured and be more successful so these are the orthotic inserts I got. The brand is Atrex, and these are just support for medium and high arches. L400. I'm not really sure what these are, but these are just to help give me more support in my shoes while I'm running. So yeah, if you struggle with maybe you have plantar fasciitis or if it just detects something else, these might be a good option. I'm also probably going to stick these in my daily shoes like for work and stuff because I really do struggle with my feet hurting if I don't have proper support. Okay, so here are my shoes. So the brand that I got, I actually had never heard of before. And I think the guy said their store is like one of two that have this brand or this type of shoe. I don't remember. But the name of the brand is Alberts. Alberts. And so I've actually never heard of this, but apparently it's a new up and coming running shoe brand. So here are what my shoes look like. Ooh, the box is really fancy. Okay, so here are the running shoes that I got. Let me take them out and show you guys. And let me tell you what the exact name of the shoe is. He also mentioned that something cool about this brand is that they are, I think he said 100% recyclable. So I'm going to look up some info and give you guys more details on this brand because I'm just not really familiar. But these are the shoes that I got. Okay, so these shoes are Allbirds. They're the Tree Dashers Geyser in the color light blue. And also, I got a size larger than I normally wear. So I have a big foot. I've always worn a size 10, but actually with the inserts, a size 11 feels a lot better. And he also mentioned you want to have kind of some room in there and you don't want your shoe to be too snug. So these are the shoes that I got. This is what they look like. So they're kind of a light blue and they kind of look like um, Nike fly knits. How the part, I don't even know what the name of this is, the part around your ankle is kind of like a socky material. They're super, super comfortable. They're really lightweight. The laces are pretty bulky and so that was different, but these are the shoes that I chose. It came down to these and another pair of New Balance, but these ones just felt the most comfortable. And so as I was trying these on, I kind of stood up and walked around the store a bit just to determine which ones were the most comfortable. So these are my new running shoes. Let me look up some info on this brand because I think they are doing cool things things and I want to see if this shoe is 100% recyclable or what the deal is with this brand. Okay, so one thing this brand is big on is sustainability and really trying to reduce their um, carbon emissions, which is really great because I'm all for saving the environment and putting less out there that's bad into the environment. So let's see. So I guess it says the laces are made from recycled plastic bottles said they use castor bean oil, recyclable, recycled cardboard. And so I like this brand just because of what they stand for. Um, and also something cool is the inside of these shoes has kind of like a wooly cushion that just felt really nice. Like it's going to really give me more support. So if you guys look on the inside right there, there's kind of like this wooly cushion right there. These shoes are just really comfortable, have great support, but they're also lightweight because I hate the feeling of really heavy, bulky shoes. So these are the shoes that I got. I'm going to break these in tomorrow. I'm not going on a run today. Today's my rest day, but yeah, I'm super excited. Um, it did hurt to swipe my card for $200, but I know these are really going to help me, especially paired with those inserts. 
Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you already use the Nike Run Club app or if you plan on getting it, how it works for you. Honestly, running can seem really scary, really intimidating, but it's so therapeutic just to put some headphones on and for 20, 30 minutes, an hour, however long, you kind of just like escape from reality and just enjoy being on a run and being with your thoughts, with your music or whatever you're listening to with your podcast. So I hope that you guys have a great journey if you're going to get into running. I hope this video was helpful. I'm definitely going to make more running videos. I do want to train for some race, maybe a 5K, then a 10K. One day, maybe a half marathon, which is 13.2 miles. So if you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I post new videos every single week and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.